next, it's a UFC lightweight division bout. All right, here he is for my money. Might be the most well-rounded fighter in this division. A true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight. Maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. So here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov. His future in all likelihood is in the UFC Hall of Fame, but his present is this fight right now, once again taking on a fellow top 10, 155-pound fight. And when you've done everything that Khabib has done, that's all you see is the best the business has to offer. Yeah. And after the McGregor fight, his star shined more brightly than he ever could have imagined. I know how humble Khabib is. I know how much he loves to live in... Uh, privacy. Right. I understand that, but when you beat Conor McGregor in the way that he did, he became an international icon, and it shows as you watch him in his pursuits of, of just opportunities and everything, but nothing is available to Habib if he does not take care of right. business in this octagon, and every time he steps foot there, he does exactly that. One of the most dominant fighters the UFC has ever seen. Going into that Conor McGregor fight, UFC 229, October of 2018, had about 4 million Instagram followers. Yes. How about 15 million? You got some catching up. I mean, the next day, he was up to <laughs> 10. Know. It was unbelievable. That's what happens when you fight Conor McGregor and you beat him. Most lightweights say, top to bottom, the toughest matchup for them in this division is Khabib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 154 pounds. Assassin! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting! Out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nimagomeda! You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is my favorite. certain markets, you better bring it, right? We got Disneyland around the corner. The UFC knows when they come to town in Anaheim that they better bring the stars. They've certainly done that. They've done that time and time again. Some of the title fights in this arena, Velasquez versus Lesnar, Cormier versus Jones, Woodley versus Maya, Cyborg winning championship, Dos Santos versus Velasquez. So many people have come to this arena as champion and lost those titles. What history will you make tonight? Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, eats a knee to the head. 
big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back in range. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big kick lands. Just misses with the straight right. tie here. Hermago Menov gets caught by the inside leg kick. And now he's got the tie clinch. Clinch work. Hermago Menov's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Oh, knee to the head. That never feels good. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying active. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Gets the elbow up into the target. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Three minutes and counting to go here in round one. 37 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, he eats a knee. That elbow got to the target very quick in the clinch. Ooh, what a punch. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. All right, single collar tie now. Your opponent has you in the clinch. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown for him. Beautiful entry there. Fighters back to their feet here. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body. And if you're the defensive fighter here, you've got to make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You cannot eat too many. You've got to get the elbow to the side. Because otherwise, you're going to land one that's going to shut everything down. Oh, a huge block there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check them, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting the beat on his leg kicks, he'll just pop a jab up, get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. Oh, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. It's okay. Keep going. Keep going. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Staying busy in the clinch to avoid a separation. These guys are going at it. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Big kick land. Oh, call it ties. How you spend it, folks? Leg kick. Final second here of round one. Nice strike. And they separate. Five minutes in the books. All right, that one signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process there in round one. And that's a part of being in the octagon with someone that's so skilled. You cannot just go after his guns and blazes. Both these young men are trying to find the right moment to attack. Nice stick to the body. Way to mix up the target. 
And they separate. Nice head kick. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? A oh, little single collar tie there. And they separate. Nurmago Medov gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Sound defensively here as he stays upright. Double leg takedown, no good. Huge block there. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Got the single collar tie. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. He's timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. He's in a good flow right now. He's landing big shots to the body. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And how he lands early when he lands off. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knees right into the midsection. Strong inside leg kick. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Single collar tie now. Right hand punch from the clinch. All right, so again, the fighters clinch here. Kind of had an inkling we'd find ourselves back in this situation. Absolutely. Both of these fighters love fighting chest to chest. The uglier the fight, the better. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Stuffs the tape down there. Hip tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. Man, it doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. He's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your post. Uh, this is where you don't want to be, though. I mean, how many can he take? All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Volume strikes continue to rain down. His opponent pretty helpless there on the ground. His opponent is helpless. He's been hurt, he's been battered, he's been beat. And now this guy's just trying to find the right time to land the fight that is the fight. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you one knee to the body, I'm done. Every time he's opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great timing. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. 135 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. And landing at a 52% clip tonight against Khabib Nurmagomedov. That was nice. nice. And both guys really throwing with authority. Nice defense there, huge block. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, beautiful right hook counter. And that's the end of round number two. 
All right, that's the end of five minutes. That's the end of the round. You see the cut on his lip, and that thing is only getting worse. Pretty nasty gash at this point in time. You know he's going to need some sutures after the fact. The focus right now, though, keeping his head in the game. Don't think about the cut. You got to think about getting your offense going and shoring up that defense to prevent that cut from getting any worse. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Nice punch by Nermago Meta. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Big punch from the clinch. Back to the feet now. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Magomedov's punch to the body is blocked, so no damage done there. Just a slip there. Big punch lands through the middle. Body closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. He changes the angle, finds the right spots to land that punch to the head from the clinch. Kick to the body by Magomedov. I mean, he's cutting them down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. All oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail to take DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. And they separate. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his torso? Nasty. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. And they separate. Good punch. Oh, single collar tie. He bends on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. Right hand punch the clinch. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. And now he's got that tight clinch. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Elbow to the head there by Nermago Meta. All right, single collar tie now. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Oh, he heard a battle with the jab. Right hand punch from the clinch. Take him down, cut him. Take him down, cut him. Over and over, he secured these takedowns. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Nice punch land over the top. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And there comes the separation now. Big kick. Nice connection on the counter punch there. And Oftentimes, DC can be easier to be a count. Oh, nice timely trip there to get the takedown. Now connects with the right. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fight. Close guard. Under a minute now to go. Nice hammer fist. Gomedov going to work here from guard and doing a pretty good job, I might add. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar or just get the ground and pound. He can't attack submissions, but those submissions will present themselves 
once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him which will then in turn leave arms dangling or he'll turn to his knees and get choked up back mount now seconds to go. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, That's oh, three rounds oh. in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. Next round is underway, and somewhat surprisingly, he got out of that previous round without absorbing anything in terms of significant damage, despite the fact that his opponent was pretty offensive. His opponent was very active, but it seems as though he could see almost everything coming in his direction. He's so well versed, he's so skilled in his defensive fighting that nothing is breaking his defense. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Massive knee lands from the Thai flinch. Lunges forward with a left there. A oh, little single collar tie there. Nice leg kick. Nice loop and punch. Shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Nermago Meadow. Oh, nice right hand. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him. Oh, thunderous leg kick around his opponent. Tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Oh, stuffs the head oh, down, tosses out into the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's gonna try to control him, then find a submission. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Watch a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Lands with the ground and pound here. Marco Medoff's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Lands the ground and pound strike. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Strong bottom work here. Staying busy. Back to his feet. Single collar tie. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Single collar tie now. 
Muay Thai Plump. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch. The hip toss play. as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do. Right into side control. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Nermago Medoff. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Now the guy's got armbar. He's attacking it on him. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Oh, now he's in trouble. focus of this young fighter. You could tell he was looking for that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it. He stayed patient, let the setup do its thing, and ultimately the submission materializes organically late in the round. High-level stuff out of that young fighter here tonight. Right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground. DC, talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called a stop to this contest, declaring the winner by a tap out due to an arm bar. Khabib, the Eagle, All right, so what a performance by this young man.